Welcome to Calder Park. Just six races to go in the NASCAR International Cup Series. I'm oh, sorry, seven laps to go, I mean. Martin in first, Baker in second, Morrison Jr. in third, Fontaine in fourth. The eight of Luis Gustavo de Marza is starting in, tw it's starting in eighth. He'll have to work some ground if he wants to continue his title run. He's in a comfortable place now, but he, the last place he wants to choke is now. He wants to stay consistent, and Martin is looking for a miracle to catch up, and hitting the wall is definitely not going to help that. <laughs> Coming into turn three here in this very fast Australian track. It will be the... Is it, front, is it Baker who is in front who will take lap one? Hasn't significantly now, but we still have 19 to go. The 10 of Dustin Morrison Jr. in second. He is in excellent form at the moment. Won a couple races ago. Got another top five at Twin River Motegi. You do know what they say. How you end a season is how you start the first one. But the way Dustin Morrison Jr.'s form is going, he could be a legitimate title contender next season. But it's still Baker who has the lead at the moment. And right behind him is his teammate of Buckwood Huckleberry. Morrison Jr. and Baker seem to be neck and neck in terms of speed at the moment, but Baker did get loose a little bit there. You can see Morrison Jr. is ever so slightly catching up. Coming into turn one, Martin in fourth, Edgewater in fifth, and it looks like they almost made contact, but not quite. Now it's Johnson. And oh, Sherwood, who's in a good battle here. Very tight racing we have here in the opening stages. They haven't caught up to Baker yet, but, fifth, but the 53 of Huckleberry has taken over his teammate. Dustin Morrison Jr. has said that as much as he loves being in Volkswagen La Panza, he does not want to be known as Buckwood Huckleberry's teammate. He wants to be known, he wants to eventually be just as good as him. He doesn't want to be a sidekick, he wants to be a partner in crime, he said before this race. And so far he is proving it. He has a better form than Buckwith in the past few races. And it looks like it's Huckleberry who's almost going to tap the Knight of Baker, a very good battle for the lead we have. Coming into turn three here at lap six. You can see with that high bacon just how fast you can go out of these corners. Right here. Is Huckleberry going to try to take the inside and squeeze it away from Baker to take the lead? What does Baker do here? There's still plenty of racing left to go. Huckleberry is getting ever so closer. They're basically touching at this point. Meanwhile, the 70 of Martin is going to be loving the action that's going on here because that's going to help him catch up. A three-car, very tight train going into here. If this was a super speedway, one screw-up would end all three of these cars, really. Morrison Jr. and Huckleberry, I don't know if they're working together, but either way, they want that lead, and Martin is coming. Almost halfway there. Nick Baker has led every lap so far. Meanwhile, the eight of Luis Gustavo de Marza, your current points leader, is not in an optimal position. He is way back in 20th, battling with Pasquale for 19th. And even speaking of that, you have the five of Noonan, who's also usually not this far back. He's in 27th. A lot of drivers that you would expect to be top 5, top 10 are hanging out in the bottom 10. But let's make our concentration back in front. Oh, how about this? This 5 car train from the 2 to the 8. You would think this is super speedway racing, but the 8 is going inside Pasquale. 
looking to gain some ground as we are halfway through this race. Let's get back to the action in front. It has gotten tighter. Buckwith Huckleberry has passed Nick Baker for the lead. Look how tight the race is here. Martin has fallen back a few positions. Him and Kromberg almost made contact. Him and Johnson almost made contact. The 25 of O'Sherwood. O'Sherwood said before this race that he is that she is looking to be the new icon of the of the Eurosport team said Leonardo Pasquale is leaving to make his own team starting next season. Oh, to all of there's tag here between Kromberg and Martin. Very close racing we have here. And how about the... And they make contact again. That's going to harm both of their cards in the long run if they want to catch up to the lead. But here's Nick Baker and Morrison Jr. Jr. to the inside. And now we have teammates in the top two. With Huckleberry and Morrison Jr. Is... If Dustin Morrison Jr. wants to prove that he is not a sidekick, the time is now. What can Dustin Morrison Jr. do in these last few laps? Is he going to try to work with Huckleberry? Probably not, considering what he has said earlier. He wants to win. He wants to show how ready he is for the title. Maybe not this, definitely not this season, but next season for sure. What can the 26-year-old Canadian pull off? Baker has fallen behind. Unless Baker can catch up, it's going to be these two battling for the win. Dustin Morrison Jr. has gotten closer. Coming to the outside of turn one. Five laps to go. If you are a Volkswagen LaPazza fan, you are absolutely loving this right now. Either way, it seems like one of these two is going to win, but it's a matter of who. Is it going to be the champion from season one of Buffalo Huckleberry? Or the driver who's looking to be a champion for season four? And Morrison Jr. goes into the inside. Huckleberry accidentally leaves too much space. That's going to let Morrison Jr. take the lead. That inside line has much more grip, and Martin Morrison Jr. knows that. And that's what Morrison Jr. sees. You can see Huckleberry is getting faster. They are deck in deck with three laps to go. Can Morrison Jr. hold them off? Not much going on between the top two at the moment, but in this type of racing, all you want to see is the top two. No other battle for positions are more interesting right now than the battle for first. Two to go. Here's Huckleberry. He looks to fake high and go low. Morrison Jr. does not fall for it. And it's going to be Buck with Huckleberry who dive off into the inside. Is he going to take the lead coming to the last lap? He will. He has passed the Morrison Jr. One lap to go. Kid Morrison Jr. reverse the pass. Huckleberry has made a very great lead. Baker is covered as well. It's going to be very close. Morrison Jr. looking into the inside one more time. Trying to get a draft off of Huckleberry to go out to get the pass coming out of turn four. But he's going to hold on. Buck with Huckleberry is going to win here at Calder Park. Very good battle for the lead we have there. Dustin Morrison Jr. has been in great form. Finishes in second. It is even though he's lost to his teammate, he has proved that he can contend with him. That was a very good battle.